we are here right now at the Newport Park, Newport Park to grill some brats and chicken. So Claude stopped by at the pick and save to grill. Let me see. Where's the good spot here? Oh, okay. So Claude stopped by at the... We already have our brats last time we did go to the Walmart to grill. And then... Before we go here, Claude stopped by at the, what do you call that, pick and save to get some grill, uh, chicken. And then he get it for really a good deal for only $5 with the sauce and the chicken. Cause it's for sale. All this chicken. For only how much? It was like $9, but it was on sale. I got the chicken and the barbecue sauce for $5. That's a great deal. Anyway, Newport Park here. What you can do in here is they have the this sheds here. So they got two of them, and then that one is like um, I don't know, but it's part of the park. So it's like two shed where you go, and they got the grilling part here, and. You can also swim, although it is this Wisconsin rubber, so it's kind of dangerous to swim. But people do swim in here, and you can also do fishing. And then, as you can see here, the boats also um, arrives here. Um, they kind of like pass. And they have also their uh, fishing pier, I guess, because it's not a boat landing. They also have a grilling area here where it's exposed to the sun. Should not left my belongings there. And they have a bathroom here for your convenience. Because park without a bathroom is going to be so hard for its users. And it's really great here, guys. It's cool. It's summer today, but I'm kind of cold because of the wind. It's really windy. All right, here's our grilling part here. And they got also trash can here. And they got the picnic table. Like, we already been here last year. If you had seen a video, it is a great place, guys. Who's this guy here? <laughs> <laughs> that's shit. That's, shit. that's USA. <laughs> What's the Korean? What's the Korean? <laughs> What's the Korean? What's the you're not even Korean? The, the Korean is like this. <laughs> you didn't see that on Facebook? <laughs> Yeah, why don't we get our own grill here? Because it's a pain in the ass to get it. In the car. In the car, yeah. Last time we grill, we just did it in the center. At the other side. We're doing it in the center. Well, I got a lot of chicken and brats to cook. It's going to take up a lot of area. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. You're retarded. <laughs> You are right. You yeah, always right. say that. No, it's not retarded. It's retard, right? I'm just slow, Claude. I'm just slow. I don't move fast. We got enough parking for one more grill then. We still got another thing. Then. Last time we wasted it at Devil's Lake when we had no, our. No, this would be enough to grill one more time at like Devil's Lake. With shrimp, we don't need that much. No. Well, remember we thought we were going to make brats? Yeah. And then you forgot the brats. You forgot the brats.
it guys now that we're done with our lunch I'm gonna give you a little bit of tour on the place I'm gonna get my glasses so this park is free here um, you can get a parking just especially for the park that's where me and Claude park um, they got grills here so their grills is big so what you can what me and Claude did was just this part here or just this side here because it's gonna consume a lot of charcoal if you use it all so they have sheds here they also have beach I don't want to invade their privacy there okay let me see let me walk a little bit it's gonna be farther so this is a river here so swimming usually in the Wisconsin River is not safe so they have this warning here which I'll show you so they have here a beach but then they warn people that um, to swim at their own risk okay so this is the beach here they got sand here I'll just walk through the pier they also have this I don't want the sun to get into my shoes and they always um, the boats here always pass by so they have that guy there as a traffic control or something. Um, do you mind just explaining about the flag um, so basically uh I just flagged the, the ducks and the army ducks. Hey, we're on video. Alright, let's all the way up. Alright, let's all the way up. And, and the creek is clear, then I put the green flag up to them, and it's, if the army ducks are coming through, then I put the red flag up. So I'm basically just a traffic guard for the river. So you're a traffic guard, and you have the radio too, too yes. with the communication. Yep. Thank you so much. Yep, I'm April. I'm Jace. I'm just gonna go to the pier. So I'll just go through here in the beach which I'm just being careful because the sun might go into my shoes I can't see any water Alright, I'm almost down there It's a long walk Anyway, um, they have lots of people not that much but they have families here and there's the Rivers Edge Resort there we eat there once so if you're hungry well me and Claude we always bring our grill so that we don't have to pay we have to eat we just buy our food in a grocery and grill it here but if you are hungry and you don't have any food the Rivers Edge Resort is right there so this one here is like a fishing pier or something because this is not a loading dock which is pretty you can sit down here they got sitting area pretty huh actually this is pretty you can see the view of the resort here sitting down here And there are families here. I'm gonna show you the statue also later. They got a statue or a sign or an entrance, something about this park. And they also have the Indian mounds. They block it off, you know. Indian mounds are a burial site made by Indians long, long time ago. The water here though, if you wanna swim, it's kind of brown. 
so I don't know if it's it's very dangerous here guys the current in a Wisconsin River it's really dangerous um last time we were at the Prairie du Sac Dam there's one guy who died down there um, so they got their kids in a so they got their kids in a what do you call that floating device life support ah I forgot what it's called but they got their kids and then they were floating away they were getting the current was getting them and then the mom and dad tried to get them without their life jacket on that's that's what it's called the life jacket so what happens is the mom was able to get the kids but then the dad was not able to he died and then they found their body like by the prairie of by the Sauk city by the river there so anyway they got rentals here they got kayak rentals down there I'm not sure if that's still part of the Newport Park I don't think so so it's like a part of the River Sage Resort down there you can rent uh, kayaks I'm pretty sure that's why it's there in the circle balloons or something it is pretty here guys pretty yeah, and God usually just go here to grill um, swimming here in this river is not that good it's kind of brown it's if you want to get tanned also you can just lay here by the by this area here it's pretty all right guys I will show you later the one that I'm talking about the statue in this park um I want to sit here for a little bit it's really peaceful it's quiet and I like it plus it's not cold it's cold by the shed when you're by the when you're by the shed by the yeah th that's what it is it is cold because it is really windy here just imagine guys going here in the dells thousand dollars would just poof you know if you rent a hotel here or go to those water parks those are expensive but you can enjoy the dells by going to these free parks so they have other parks too here in the Dells, the Bowman, the Captain Bob's Park, but those are not near waters like this one. This is the prettiest park you can find in the Dells. So if you are planning of visiting the Dells and not spending that much money, just bring your food, grill in here, and enjoy the beauty of the Dells. See what we did also last time was we grill here, and then we walk around by the Dells. Yeah, well, you can walk. Right now, um, it's Monday, so the parking lot of the establishment are not that full. So it's kind of good, you know, to just park there and walk a little bit. I don't know if we're doing that because I am going to the bigger course after this. So you can also do fishing right here. So they got their seat here and then you can just put your fishing rods in there although i haven't done fishing here so i don't really know the experience yet i don't know what to tell you but yeah this is a great place guys very peaceful but i can see the eagles flying i can't hear birds though all I hear is like a oh, breeze and um, you can really hear people when they're like calling because it's really quiet here, super, super quiet. Born in 1933, the Wisconsin Dell was known as Kilborn City. Kilborn City, you might remember that name from the beginning of the story, the Kilborn Dam and Powerhouse. Mr. Kilborn was a successful businessman who built a railroad that still runs through the Wisconsin Dells today, the original name of the city after all. 
back in 1932, they wanted to come up with a name that better represented the natural beauty of the area. Wisconsin, a Native American word meaning dark running water. Dell's a French word meaning flat layered rock. You can see both. That's the history behind the name Wisconsin Dell. Now here at the Dell's Boat Company, we operate six jet boats on the upper and lower. Oh, all right guys sitting here in the pier gives me um feeling like i'm in a boat or something only that you know like if you're in a boat and you're just floating and then take letting the current take it away it's it's some kind of like that but i'm just feel safe here because it's like i know it's a touch down there and just I'm floating away and not really moving because I can feel this pier move when there's a wave going on so it's like it's really good really peaceful here I'm staying here like for a long long time now my husband's still in the shed and I don't know I like it here it's not that cold plus I it's not that hot because I can feel the breeze you know so I think I'm gonna stay here for a little bit more before I go there. Alright guys, it's time for me to go. My husband is still right there. Oh, I don't know where he is. But I will show you the statue. So, this is very clean park too guys. No trash looks like it's been taken care of and they have this parking lot here is not part of the park it's by that reverse edge resort there they also have like boat parking I guess anyway I'm gonna show you where this statue is so here it is This one guys is not allowed to be touched or else you're gonna get fined. It's $250 fine. Alright, and we have their posters here about the park, which I will show you. This one, it's empty. They're working on that. So this one here, they got the information. I'll just, you guys can pause it if you want to read it. But... Oh, they got the boat lunch here, $8.50. But to go here, it is free, guys. All right, and here's the bathroom here. Claude is probably looking for me now. I stay long in the port. It is very windy here, super. Even it's July, it is just, I get cold, actually. So this is the restroom here. And then they get also water. So this is the one I'm talking about. This is the Indian mounds here. And they kind of like cage it, you know, to protect it from people walking around it. I will show you guys. So this is the... Newport Indian Mounds. You can pause it, guys, if you want to read it. But this is the Indian Mounds here. It's kind of like, you know, they put cage on it or railings or something. All right. I'm going. Oh, they're having some construction down here. I think um, this was like play area for kids. And they kind of like working on it right now this part here 
that was the play area probably gonna improve it all right guys that is all for today I hope you find the tour about the Newport Park interesting it's a pretty place guys it is beautiful here plus it's near the river where you can swim you can fish you can grill that is very interesting place. okay guys I will see you in our next video.